Today we are going to continue to learn about Louise Bourgeois. We are going to focus on her spider sculptures. Bourgeois began creating her iconic sculptures towards the end of her career. The sculptures vary in size, but many are quite large and made of bronze and steel. Bourgeois once explained that she chose the spider as a subject because its traits reminded her of her mother. Like a spider, my mom was a weaver. She was deliberate, clever, patient, soothing, reasonable, dainty, subtle, indispensable, neat, and as useful as a spider, the artist said. All right, so last week you read about Louise Bourgeois and learned how to weave. Now today we're gonna learn um, how to make a sculpture and specifically a spider sculpture, which is another uh, art process and um, piece that she is famous for. So in your folder, you will find some tin foil. You will find some aluminum foil. Okay, there's one piece that's big, that's folded in half. Okay, so set that aside for a minute. And there is a smaller piece in your folder that is not folded in half. All right, the first thing you need to do is make this into a ball. So you're gonna ball this up. And you don't wanna make it too tight of a ball because otherwise it'll be too small. Okay, so you don't have to like pound it until it's hard. Just ball it up, boom, done. All right, now you're gonna take your other piece of tin foil and you're gonna unfold it, smooth it out, okay? And I'm gonna put the ball in the middle here. And I'm just gonna draw a circle around Maybe I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger around that ball. Now, think to yourself, how many legs does a spider have? If you said eight, you are correct. So our spider needs to have eight legs and we are gonna make them out of the tin foil. So your next step is to draw where you are going to cut those cut for those legs, okay? So. Mm -hmm. And some legs may be a little bit longer than others just because of the nature of this piece of foil. All right, so first up, we're gonna do two lines here, then we're gonna mirror that down here, okay? All right, then opposite, here and here. These don't have to be real accurate, but close enough. So you got two sets coming out here, two sets coming out here. Now we're gonna number these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you wanna make sure you have eight sections, because if you don't, you're not gonna have enough legs. All right, so next process. This is gonna be similar to the weaving. You can't go past the circle. Okay, so if you need to write stop for yourself, do it. All right, so I am going to cut from the line up to the circle and stop for each one of those lines that I just drew. All
You have to go slow and be careful, otherwise you will rip your piece of tin foil. This is where we're gonna start molding this in to our sculpture. Now remember a sculpture is a three-dimensional work of art. It takes up space. So our ball here, that already takes up space, but the rest of this is still flat, okay? So, and you have to be careful. Okay. So first thing, each one of these sections, I just want you to smush it together just a little bit, okay? Start to form those legs. Go slow, okay? So not to rip it apart. Some legs, yes, will be longer than others. You gotta be very careful when you get close to that circle. Okay. All right, so we got these two really, really short legs here. If you want, the two longest legs are right here. You can take a little bit of this and add it on to your short leg if you feel confident doing that. So those two See, this one seems super long too. That's the way it was drawn. All right, I'm gonna unfold that. And so now they're a little bit more even. All right, so now I'm going to start molding the whole thing around my ball, smushing it together. And then I can start to pull out those spider legs. You can smush them a little bit more, make them a little more stable. Okay. And then you can start to get your spider to stand by bending those legs. is my finished spider sculpture. It's three-dimensional, takes up space. Very cool. Also, you don't have to put this back in the folder. Take it home with you, very carefully, of course.